So let's go ahead and I'm going to save this for later. And I'm just going to say, I've got to add that $1,000. So the easiest way to do that is probably to hit the carrot over here and go to the accounting and the chart of accounts is what I'm looking for. And go to the accounting and then the chart of accounts. And if you're in the business view, by the way, the chart of accounts is under the bookkeeping and the chart of accounts. And then we're going to go down to the credit card, down to the credit card. There it is. I'm going to look at the register. I think that's the easiest way to enter it in opening the register. And then I'm going to enter like an expense. It'll be like an expense charge type of thing. I'm going to enter as of the end of the month, which was 083122, I think. Maybe the beginning of the month would be better. I should now note a couple things to note. You, you don't, if this is a beginning balance and it was coming from a prior accounting system, you don't want to put the beginning balance possibly on the income statement, right? Because it's something that you've already accounted for on the income statement. It, therefore, the other side, you can record to, to equity. Equity or you can record it to like like an expense account if you're doing it in the prior period meaning if i was starting my books in january 2022 then i might want to enter it as of december 2021 so that if there's any impact on the income statement it rolls into the balance sheet and i'm good to go but i'm just going to enter it in directly into the equity account so i'm going to say 08 08 let's say 0122 and I'm going to say that this is going to be a memo. Let's say beginning balance, beginning balance. It's going to be a charge of a thousand. I'm not going to put it to the income statement, but just directly to the balance sheet account, assuming it's from prior activity in a prior period. Uh, so it shouldn't be on the income statement. So I'm looking for an equity account. So if I go down, it would be an equity. We, we, we could put it to opening balance, but you don't ultimately want it in opening balance. It should be either you would think in owner's equity or in our, you know, investments uh, or, you know, draw, well, I'm going to put it into owner's equity. It's going to go into owner's equity and that's it. So I'm going to say, okay. So boom, let's take a look at what happens on the financial statements from that transaction, running it, running. And I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down the visa account. If I go into the visa did i take that the wrong way it's going to be owners it's going to be the 1000 right here no because i'm so there it is and if i go into it it's an expense type of account of form that i use going to the credit card as opposed to the checking account scrolling back up top the other side i put into equity instead of the income statement i can't look at it because it won't drill down on it if you want to drill down on that number you could open right click and duplicate you can open a a, a a general ledger report so i can go down to reports and say general ledger general ledger i want to see the detail in that account and they won't let me click on it so i'm going to go to the general ledger and then from let's go from uh 010122 to 123122 run it and then i can say okay cash accounts receivable inventory blah blah payments equipment total here's the credit card and draws opening balance and owner's equity so there's the activity for owner's equity and there's our there's our thousand dollars so for some reason that well it's not for some reason the reason you can't double click on it even though you can post to it is because that's the account that income rolls into. So for some, so you would think you would still be able to click on it, but you can't. So you can see the detail here though, by opening a general ledger report. Okay. So back to the first tab, let's go into our ham boogie and then go down to the chart of accounts again, or accounting, and then go to the reconcile tab and let's resume the reconciliation resume and so now i've got the thousand dollars stop showing me these stupid things boom and now i've reconciled so now i'm in balance so we should tie out now so i'm going to say okay uh let's go ahead and and uh finish it so this is the process of reconciling 
Now the reconciliation report will be very blah. There's nothing to do. You reconcile this account. How do you want to pay your bills? So now it's asking, there's an outstanding balance in the credit card. So I could then pay the outstanding balance right now. I don't want to pay the outstanding balance. I'm going to pay it when I, when I want to pay it. So I'm not going to do it as I reconcile. So I'm just going to say uh, done. 